Hey guys, it's Leave with Pro Equine Grooms, talking about something that is totally boring but kind of necessary, um, and that is buckles and snaps. So this is a standard double-ended snap all over the barns. Um, the only thing I can tell you about these is to make sure that when you're hanging a bucket with them, that the pointy thing and the thing that opens is against the wall because otherwise your horse is likely to get his nostril stuck in it. Just do a quick Google search and you will see all sorts of glorious pictures about that. Um, now the next thing to talk about is a cross tie situation. I personally prefer cross ties over any other type of um, containment of a horse such as a hitching post or a tie ring or something like that. Um, it's just what I grew up with, what I'm used to and it's really common in the sport horse world. So this is a example of my favorite type of buckle. And you can see here that it is like this. Now, when you need to release this buckle, all you have to do is pull this little slot down one-handed and it releases. Contrast that to this type of buckle, which here is attached to a halter where you need to slide it back and then release it this way. If you have a horse that is panicking and he is connected by one of these buckles, he's gonna be putting a lot of tension on this apparatus. You might be able to get to him to open this, but because of all of the tension, you're not gonna be able to undo the buckle. In contrast, if you are using one of these type snap buckle apparatus, if you have a horse that is panicking and you need to release him really, really quickly, all you have to do is pull down on it and they pop right open. So in an ideal situation in the cross ties, um, you have this type of snap at both ends, one connecting your horse and also that's connected to the wall. Because if your horse is again deciding that he's having a moment, and he really thinks that flying sideways and backwards and lunging forward to get out of the cross ties is going to save his life, then you're gonna be stuck with a horse that's flailing around. You might not be able to get to his face to undo whatever type of snap you have attaching his halter to the cross tie, which makes you really need to put one of these at the wall because as he's starting to flail around, you don't want to get in his space. You might get whacked. You're never going to catch him. But at the wall, you can pop this off. He is released. Panic subsides. Everybody's happy again. If for some reason you don't have this type of snap at the wall, make sure that you have some sort of option for when there is a lot of pressure, whatever snap or buckle you're using will release. This is an Equiping. It's designed under a certain you know, pulling strength that they're gonna pop open, or you can just use a piece of bailing twine to attach your cross ties to.